Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to service round 911. In today's video, we are continuing the series of CMDB where we have discussed the overview of CMDB. So you can check out that video from the playlist you see here service now CMDB. This is the full playlist which is available where we have discussed these two things. So in today's video, we are discussing what is CI. So let me go to the instance. Let me open service now CMDB. So table name is cmdb underscore ci so this is a configuration item table so so what is a ci it is the fundamental unit of a configuration management database it is the ci which gets stored managed related and finally disposed in a configuration management database so let me show you so look at the definition here a CI is a fundamental structural unit of configuration management database. That's what we know, right? A CI can be any of the following. It can be a physical entity, it can be a logical entity, and it can be a conceptual entity. It means a CI can be a server, a CI can be a relation, and a CI can be a service, okay? That's what you have to understand. Anything which is configurable and related to the infrastructure can be a CI, as simple as that. So in demo instance, you see around 2700 CI, but in reality, it can be millions. Bigger the organization, bigger the CMDB and large number of CIs are there. Okay. So let me open one of the CI. This is the configurational detail of that CI. Okay. Right now, what is the RAM of that CI? What is the CPU type? What is the CPU speed? And most important thing is the class of this CI. So you see here, these are the classes because these are huge in number we have categorized these CIs into classes so that it will be easy to manage them okay so let me group by these classes so you see here these all are the classes disk email server IP routing Linux server so this is Linux server this is a physical entity right in the same way we see software this is a, a kind of logical as well as we have the services which is a kind of conceptual okay here it is limited but in actual instance you can see a lot of that you see this is the ci this is the information this is the configurational details which get updated by various uh, you know discovery devices or manually or by any spreadsheet okay so this is dependent on your organizational uh, infrastructure like how you are maintaining these ci's because maintaining the life cycle of a ci is very important this is the main reason we have this huge cmdb and the more accurate cmdb we have the more accurate details of the ci's we have the more robust operations will go on and at the bottom you see the relationship of these ci's you see this particular ci is dependent on all these related items all these configurational items so why CI relationships are very much important you see here it is the dependency between two or more CIs which exist in the real world and change in status of one may impact the other so if you have a critical application on which almost whole organization is dependent and if anything happens to that application it broke or uh, uh, it has some issues that in that case the business will get impacted up to a larger instance right to minimize the impact we are having these CI relationships so that we can easily understand if a CI one is having some issues how many others are getting impacted so that we can take precautionary measures we can inform the users we can do n number of things to restore the service right to make the user understand to let them know to minimize the risk okay so that's why CI relationship is one of the most important thing which is the heart of a CMDB you see the example here a server is dependent on router and switches right this is the very basic thing and if any of the router or switch is damaged it impacts the connectivity to the server which ultimately result in the delayed services to the customer so that's why if we know previously about the number of users or number of applications which are connected to that server we can take precautionary measures and that's what the role of cmdb relationship or role of ci relationship will come into picture so the last thing is what happened with the ci in a cmdb so we keep the ci but what we are doing in that okay we are maintaining the attributes of the ci along with the attributes we are tracking the changes 
of that CIs okay and then we are maintaining the dependencies and the relationships of that CI with other CIs again with the use of uh, discovery techniques and finally we are maintaining the life cycle of the CI so that our CMDB will be more accurate and it will be more robust whenever someone uses it so guys this is the basic of a CI okay so stay tuned with the channel uh, subscribe to it let us know your doubts thank you so much bye bye